Yes, we got water. All right, we are back and today is a huge day. We are going to drive our well for our pitcher pump. Now, seeing the farm has not been ran or operational in three years, there's no electricity out here and the irrigation's broken. So we need water for drinking, for our showering and uh, watering plants. So we're gonna drive the well. The first step in doing that is we're gonna use some downsing rods and figure out where the water is. And if you're not familiar with what dowsing rods are, dowsing rods, they're just little copper bands and you walk through and when you supposedly go over water, they cross each other. Okay, so we hit that same spot three different times and they crossed every single time. So that is where we are gonna drive our well point. Woo! All right, first step here, we got some pipe dope and around the threads on the sand point, we're gonna make sure we get every little part of thread covered in pipe dope. Then we're going to take our drive coupler and we're going to twist it on. And then. Hey, this pipe dough smells like paint. It kind of smells like paint, so let's get it started with our hands. Get it on there as tight as we can with our hands. Mm -hmm. Wow. Then we will take. Uh, can you hold that for me? We'll take our pipe wrenches and we'll make sure it's really on there. That was super scary, oh, Daddy. Super scary. Yeah. I don't know if Grandpa's pipe wrench is gonna work. Oh, there we go. Okay, can you hold it? Let's get this a little tight again. And we gotta get this one tight too. Now we're gonna take this and thread it on. Heavy. And we gotta tighten this pipe now. Okay. That one's really heavy. Readjust these. That one's really heavy. Okay. Hold that. Oh, yeah. Hold that one. And I am gonna tighten this one. Next order of business, we need to use our post hole digger and get a good couple feet into the ground because when we connect the pipe to the sand point, it's going to be sticking out of the ground. Now we brought a ladder just in case, but we want to get it started down there so we have a comfortable um, height to pound down. We also found that we don't have an operational wheelbarrow anymore, so we have a garbage can here to put the dirt in so we can haul it away. So here we go. Let me know what you guys think of uh, time-lapse footage like this. If you like it or dislike it, leave a comment below. All right, we're down pretty far. And the sand is so loose and fine that it can't even bring it up. So let's get the first, let's get the sand point and the first piece of tubing ready. Ready? All right, let's do it. All right, we got our first section of pipe connected and all tight to our sand point. Let's throw it down there and get it started. Whoa. And we also have a level and a cap. Now, if you only have a sledgehammer, what you can do is pop the cap on, tighten it down all the way so you don't damage the threads. We have a post driver with handle that's heavy. So we're gonna put another drive coupling on 
and tighten that down and then use this to pound it down. Little man and I were able to get these tight. I strongly suggest you have another person with you if you're doing this or an adult, but we managed to do it with some old tools. So we have our drive coupler on so our thread shouldn't get damaged and now we'll put it on. Let's give it a pound. Bring the level out and pretty close. Okay, spill some sand in there. Wash our hands when we're done doing this, boy. Oh, we're definitely gonna have to wash our hands. Yeah, because we are touching joy and chemicals and all kinds of chemicals and joy. No chemicals. Okay. Alright, let's keep pounding. Watch out. And we don't want to hit our level. So what I need you to do is push it, see it right here, push it towards me, push it towards me. There you go, watch hands. Now, I highly doubt we hit water, but we got this string tied to a socket. We're going to dip it down until we hit the bottom, and maybe we'll hear water, otherwise we know we gotta keep pounding. All right, so here's. There's the bottom. No water yet. We can kind of see how far down we are. Oops, that feel wet? Can I nope, it's not wet. This is how far down we are. We're definitely a couple feet down. I'm going to get the video back going. All right. Well, and now we need to tighten the coupler. Let's see if Daddy can get this by himself again. Hopefully that will stay tight and let's do some pounding.
Yes, we got water. We yes. got water. Yes. We got water. I don't think we got very much water, but we got water. Okay, I heard it. So the water, it makes a sound when we hit. Right there. Yeah. I'd say we got water to about here. Okay, so we need to keep going because we need to make sure that we have the point all the way into the submerged into the water with about a foot of water above the point. So we may not be able to get that because I don't have a shorter pipe, but for say we're just going to keep pounding it um, and we'll just have the pitcher pump a little lower to the ground. But we built a freaking, we did a well. All right. So we have pumped out about 10 gallons of water and we're almost completely clear. It is ice cold. Cannot wait to taste it once it's clear. So a couple lessons I want to share um, along the way. So we only could find steel uh, inch and a quarter pipe. Um, everything we found recommended stainless steel well point tubing. Could not find that at any of the local uh, hardware stores or big box stores. Not sure why. Uh, so we actually had to order this online. Um, so yeah. But I think it wasn't as robust or shockproof, and some of the couplers were loosening up, and I think I'm sucking up a little bit of air. Um, part of that could have been the crappy um, pipe wrenches we were using, or the fact that I didn't have somebody else that was strong to help me. Uh, the little man did a great job, and for what we're going to use this for, this is perfect. When we dig another well, um, I'll have some extra help here, and we'll record that one also. So we ended up using three uh, uh, three foot sections of pipe and the uh, 36 inch sand point well uh, point and then hammered it down with our fence post driver and yeah we, we have water so we would like to say thank you for uh, coming along on us with this journey as we take this dormant farm and get it operational again there's a ton of videos coming up so give us a like, a subscribe, and give us a share. Until the next one, have a good one.